Hey everybody, welcome back for another car wash review. Uh, today I am in Exeter, Ontario, just north of London. And uh, I am at, I don't know if they just call this the Exeter Car Wash. I think that's what they call it. Um, but uh, I was actually here a while back uh, to review this and it was uh, closed for maintenance. They have some self-serve bays. This here is actually uh, a laundromat inside. I think it's closed or maybe it's not open yet. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe with the pandemic and that uh, they have to close it, but uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of washers and dryers and that in there. Uh, yeah, and like I said, some self-serve bays. Not sure what that closed bay is. Um, could be just another uh, self-serve. There's another one there. Uh, but they've just got closed, who knows. And they also have um, a touch and a... Um, or a touchless and a touch. Yeah, soft cloth and a touch-free uh, car wash. Oh, and they even have a, a dog wash. <laughs> so they got... A little bit of everything here. Um, parked beside some vacuums and that <clears throat> on both sides. So I'm going to review both of these and uh, we'll see which one is better. Now I don't think my vehicle is that dirty. Driving the caravan today and yeah it's not really that dirty. You can see some if the camera's gonna pick it up a little bit of light dirt and that on the windows it's not really gonna show up on the van itself with it being white you can see the back window a little bit a little streak down there and a little bit of bird dropping on the window we'll see if it gets that off uh, but other than that not much to really show Got a little bit of bugs and that on the front. We'll check that out. But uh, yeah, not a whole lot. So what I usually do anytime I'm reviewing a, a touch and a touchless, uh, kind of at the same time, I always do the touchless first because typically, in most cases, the um, the soft cloth will clean a little bit more than, than a touchless will. So I like to give the touchless a, a chance to see how good it can, can clean. So uh, let's see here. Get out my wallet. So the ultimate is eleven dollars. Uh, Select a wash. We do ultimate. We have payment for your selection. Okay. Would you like to have a receipt? Yes. Please wait while your card is being authorized. You have purchased the works wash. You may enter the wash if it is ready. <laughs> they actually, <laughs> they actually on the thing that they actually call it the ultimate wash, and she said, "I got the works wash." Oh, whatever. It says absolutely no trailer hitches on the uh, touch one. Oh, get up over this little... Oh, wow. God. Jeez. There's a big... My tire's actually spun trying to get over this. Wow. That's a big... Stop. Okay. That, um... Those side blasters and that, there's actually a steel plate thing that goes across. 
and uh, it's quite uh, high to go over top. I should put the backup camera on so we'll be able to see that. So we got a Ricoh radius. What is this thing doing? Oh, it's remeasuring. Felt like it wasn't out far enough, I guess. Coverage seems to be good. And if you look beside me, you can actually see the uh, <laughs> the touch uh, soft cloth one working beside me. Well. This is very, very good coverage. It's doing a double pass. A nice heavy coating both times. Wow. Very, very good coverage. Wow, very quick uh, transition. This thing's not wasting any time. surface sealant just says rinsing but I would think that was the spot free rinse oh no Maybe that's the spot free rinse. <laughs> I don't know. It still says rinsing on the sign.
Actually, I haven't been through one of these uh, dryers in a long time. I used to be a big fan of these dryers. I usually have pretty good luck with them. Just gotta go slow, and hopefully they give you enough time. Ended. Another car wash there. Okay. Let me go back around. Wow, there's like Three people lined up for the touchless. Okay, gonna put his bicycle through the car wash. I once knew a crazy guy that put his motorcycle through a car wash. All right, let's have a look, see how it did. I didn't think the dryers were very strong because the side of the vehicle is still pretty wet, top to bottom. The, uh, the uh, top in that did a decent job, but yeah, look at the side. You can still see how, uh, how wet it is. Did get the... Uh, the bird dropping though. Powered that off. Got rid of some of the bugs. Kind of the bugs on the left side, but not on the right side. It's still a bit there. But yeah, just I think the biggest disappointment were the dryers. Usually I, I, I jinx myself. I said normally I have really good luck with those dryers. And uh uh, this time I didn't you can see So it's usually a good <laughs> it ends up being a good test to see how good the uh, Spot-free rinse in that is if it did it never said spot-free rinse. It just said rinsing, but I would think that's what it What it is, but yeah when the dryers don't do a very good job um, And you don't uh, get a good spot-free rinse then you get a lot of spots on your car, but uh, anyways let me know what you thought of this in the comments below. I didn't mind it. It was okay. I mean, $11 for the top wash. Um, I, like I said, the only thing, it was just the, all the coverage in that was excellent. Really, really good coverage. Uh, it's just the dryers that I was disappointed in. So other than that, uh, I would recommend it. So, um, yeah, that's the uh, touch free. So stay tuned uh, for tomorrow. Is uh, Tomorrow I will upload the soft cloth wash which i'm going to do now so i'll end this video uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and then tomorrow when i do the soft cloth you'll have to let me know which you like better the um, touch free or the soft cloth so uh, anyways thanks a lot everyone uh, hope you enjoyed it like comment subscribe all that good stuff and uh, i will see you tomorrow thank you bye bye